The concern is rising and we are the first to inform you on the progress in this pressing debate. A rebellion base destroyed on the Hoth system. Where do we stand in this war and what moves should be made next? And the Emperor's Royal Guards, are they really offering the high class protection they should be? This is the Imperial Galactic Network, IGN, your only reliable source for news, events, and information within the Imperial fleet. With six broadcasts daily, we provide you with the latest in news and weather as they happen. And now, here's your host, Tipped Matthew, transmitting live exclusively on Lord Vader's chief vessel, the Executor. Good evening and welcome to the fourth of six daily transmissions from Lord Vader's vessel, the Executor. I am Tipped Mahew and you are watching IGN. A war with the traitors of the Empire. Yes indeed, after three years of scouting throughout the Rim territories, we have established the whereabouts of the heinous rebel fleet and sent them running with little resources. We will go now to the conference room where we will make contact with the surface below and see how General Maximilian Veer's blizzard force cleaned the settlement. And in recent news, the Alliance High Command Headquarters of the Rebel Forces was discovered on the sixth planet of the Hoth system. The Imperial Army invaded and destroyed the base, forcing the Rebels to flee. Reporting live on the aftermath of this battle, we have Guido Cranvis on the scene. Uh, how, how you doing, Tipped? As you can see behind me, this is what is left from the raid that took place earlier today. There's wreckage as far as you can see. Um, Rebel forces put up quite a fight and managed to actually destroy some of our Imperial walkers. Uh, they are telling me now that there is some secret information still inside the base that we're trying to recover. Obviously we can't let that fall back into the Rebels' hands. Um, I'd have to say though that the invasion was quite a success and I do think we, we have a lot to uh, learn from uh, what they've left behind. Now, from what I understand, the complete annihilation was in our grasp. In fact, during the battle, we boasted that the last of the re rebellion had been wiped out. But now, as it is, a small number of medium transport spacecrafts broke through our Star Destroyers, escaping into deep space. Can you explain this, Guido? Uh, yes, Tipped, I can. Actually, Lord Vader had formulated a sneak attack by jumping out of hyperspace at an untraceable distance from the planet. He made use of the meteor activity just above the planet's atmosphere, which made it difficult, obviously, for the rebels to spot any approaching ships. This tactic proved to be flawless until the late Admiral Kendall Ozel made his own assault plan and uh, actually exited hyperspace a bit too close to the star system. So you're saying that the Admiral Ozel actually attempted to overstep the order of Lord Vader himself? Um, yeah, yes, that is correct. That's actually what happened, Tipped. His original plan was to surprise any escapees with a full-blown bombardment. This vital error, however, made the rebels aware of our presence. Uh, it also allowed them to, uh, to uh, allowed them time to establish their energy field and, and prepare their ion cannon, which managed to neutralize one of our star destroyers and, and actually allowed them to escape. Wow. This is just shocking to me. So tell me this, what will the history books say was accomplished from the Hoth invasion? Uh, you, you know, that's a hard one to actually set in carbonite. I can say this, however, the Imperial assault was primarily aimed at destroying the Rebels' main power generators. Um, that mission was a success as General Veers led the assault personally, commanding his at, -AT walker. He almost single-handedly crushed the rebel base. Guido, thanks for the update. It looks cold down there, so I'm going to let you get back up here and get warm. Thanks. Guido Cranvis reporting live from the Hoth system.
And as it is our promise, you will be the first to know any new information as it unfolds in the battle against the rebel activists. Royal Guards selected from only the best men in the Academy, these guards carry the high honor of personal protection for the Emperor Palpatine and his designees. But what happens when the rules and regulations bend so that even bounty hunters can apply? Could this mean that the safety of our leaders is at risk? IGN has the news story that puts to rest the gossip that is filling the hallways of the Executor. Solrak reports. Good evening, Solrak Kesvaz here reporting. The Royal Imperial Guard are coming up on a shortage in their ranks. Many believe that this has much to do with the lack of recruits being pulled out of the annual selections, but the superiors say that the real reason is actually the recent assault on the Death Star. According to our sources on the course on morgue facilities, there is at the moment an estimate of about 200 or more rig troops out of commission. Their exact number, however, would not be revealed at the Emperor's request. Now at a shocking turn of events, Commander Lord Vader has requested the aid of notorious bounty hunters such as Boba Fett to help fill in the gap within the royal ranks. Many believe that enlisting such people as bounty hunters could very well cause a major dispute amongst the ranks. Seeing that many of the rig soldiers are specifically known for their unflinching devotion towards the Emperor and feel that enlisting such people who are not worthy of a daunting task would only bring shame to the great empire not to mention the guards themselves. All of these guards are carefully selected from a pool of highly trained and skilled soldiers by the Emperor himself, so to have cutthroat bounty hunters who only work for nothing more than credits and not their sense of duty filling in for them is being viewed as an insult. One such guard commented by saying such harsh words as, we do not need their scum. Emperor Palpatine gave a few words on the gripping topic yesterday's Senate meeting, stating that, the bounty hunters are both cunning and ruthless, two necessary traits when dealing with today's elusive enemy, the Rebellion. And also, the people of the Empire need not worry on such matters, rather need to focus on the real threat of how to capture these rebellious traitors responsible for the attack. Lord Vader was also on hand to speak with the media briefly before boarding his shuttle on the way to oversee the bounty hunter enlisting commence on the Imperial territory of Bespin. When asked about the issue, he simply stated, I am trying to bring peace to my empire. Well, if bounty hunters do make their way into the fleet, let's hope their budget is the same with everyone else's on board. We'll be right back.